Morning everybody, received a special delivery in the post today so I'm going to do an unboxing stroke review of my new product. Let's see if you can guess where it is. Oh, everybody guess where it is as soon as I open the box. So what I might do is open the box. Have you seen one of these on the shopping channel before? The Vertego. It is a vertical cylinder grill, so basically it makes eggs vertically. For whatever reason you want that to happen, I don't know, but anyway, let's see what's in the box. It's got a little metal tamper thing. Toilet brush. Some skewers. Recipe book stroke instructions. Two year guarantee, I'm sure that's genuine. So all that's in the box. So here's the Vertigo. It comes in different colours, I've got a white one. Not out of choice, but that was the only colour to send. So here you go. The Vertigo. You must have seen them on the shopping channels. I'll do a full review of it once I've gone to the shops to buy some eggs because we don't have any eggs. So we'll see you in two minutes. I'm shopping for some eggs for me and you gadget. <clears throat> oh, my voice. Shopping trolley down. Also need some cards. to hunt for the eggs. Need any of that? The black eye. Okay, so I'm back from the shops with the eggs. So now let's see what we need to do to get this thing working. We'll plug it in, obviously. Sit the rubbish off. Turn the screen around so I can see what I'm doing. Plug it in, also plug this in. So we'll just plug it in. And the red light goes on. So it's plugged in now, there's a red light on it, I presume that means it's ready. It's in the heat, oh, it's getting hot already. It's going to be another two seconds. So what you need to do is spray some of this low calorie spray. Other sprays are available. You spray it inside for everything you do, so ooh. so just spray a little bit in there so oh steamy. So I just wait for the light to go green I'm thinking and then I need to stick in a couple of eggs. So the light's gone green. I'd excuse the noise in the background, the gardeners are outside cutting the grass. So I need to put two eggs in. Ooh. Sound very healthy. Egg number one, egg number two. Oh dear mate, sounds like God knows what. So there's two eggs in there, so now we'll just see what occurs in a few minutes. I think it takes about Five, six, seven minutes, so light on green, nothing happening yet, so I'll either pause the video here or I'll fast forward it until something happens. I don't know whether I should put another egg in, but it seems to be doing something already. It's cooking-ish as it is, so I'll just get a plate or something out and then we can tip it out. Mm -hmm. 
little update, it's starting to cook it inside. Mm. Do you think I can show you this? So what's happened is I might get the camera at a different angle. It's starting to cook around the outside like a cylinder and I'll just readjust the camera. Not sure if you can see inside, let's see if I can tip it. Oh there we go. Can you see it looks like a, the white on the outside is all cooking. The middle obviously isn't cooked yet, but it's bubbling away and fizzing. It sounds it smells like cooked egg. So all is well so far. So I'll go back to the other angle now. Egg update, it's nearly cooked. The egg looks I'm not gonna tip it up. The egg looks all solid all the way through and it's getting a bit of a skin on it, so I must be nearly ready to eat it. I think it's nearly ready to be served, bubbling and fizzing and sizzling. It does smell very eggy, but it smells also a bit plasticky, so I don't know if something's there. Oh, yeah, it goes. I don't know whether something's happening. Oh, what's happening here? Watch. Da 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 da. Ooh. Ooh. It's an, it's an egg turd. Mmm, <laughs> does this look appetizing? So what I'm going to do now is pop it out. I might change angles again. So I'll pop it out so you can see what's happening. So I'll just zoom out. I'm just going to tip it out onto this tray. Mmm, yummy! Mm. I'll chop it up and see what it looks like. Well, I have to say it's come out exactly as it does on the infomercial. So, apart from this dodgy little bit of skin at the end, I'll just chop that up with the egg skin. So, this is two eggs. It pops out just by the heat, I think, just by expansion, because there's no mechanics in there to make it pop out. So I'll just chop it in half, see what it looks like. Perfectly cooked. So it's two eggs. Can you see that? If my hand's in the way. It's two eggs, perfectly cooked. Unusual shape, but actually it worked completely as it should do. So I'm going to take it upstairs to Stephen. And this can be a little snack for him, so I'll take it upstairs and I'll um, tell you what he thought of it afterwards. And there you have, have it, there's the Vert Ego by El Gento, vertical cylinder grill. I've just taken it up to Stephen for his little snack and he said it was alright, he gave it 6 out of 10. He said he'd rather the York was a bit more runny, but what do you expect for a little gadget like this? I think you can just use the little sponge thing that comes with it, this little scrubby thing, to clean the inside of it. I don't know how hygienically you can get it clean, but there's not that much mess in it. Actually, it's come out quite clean, so actually it's quite a, good, a fun little gadget. It wasn't very expensive. If anybody wants to know where I came from, just let us know and I'll give you the details. You can buy them online, you can buy them from Ideal World. If you do buy one, make sure it's got a three-pin plug, if that's the one that you use in your country, obviously. Because some of them had um, an American plug, which wouldn't be much use here in England. So, to be honest, it was better than I thought. I thought it was going to be a load of junk. But to make two eggs, obviously you need two of them, unless you can keep one of them warm. But um, it's probably going to be used once or twice and then popped in the cupboard somewhere. But I would definitely recommend one. Vert Ego by Argento.